Hello everyone, so for today I'm going to present our paper on awareness and acceptance to the role of Open Education Resources OER in teaching and learning after Matt's COVID-19 pandemic PLS SEM approach. So this is our group members, Siti Sarah Ibrahim, Nur Azila Muhammad Zaid, Zuliana Zulkifli, Aini Hayati Musa, and Farah Nadia Baharudin. So let's start our presentation. So this is our overview on our paper, introduction, literature review, methodology, and findings and analysis. So as the COVID-19 pandemic continues, Worsen. The educational environment is being compelled to shift from traditional classroom or blended teaching modes to online models. The fast rise in online classroom amid the COVID-19 widespread has driven selection of more online resources. The advancement in learning innovation have challenged the university to change how they plan and provide their programs. OER consists of full courses, course materials, modules, textbooks, trainings, video text, software and tools, materials or techniques used to sustain users' access to information. Open education resources are learning materials that are straightforwardly authorized the educators and learners to share and gather related information and permit others to retain, reuse, revise, remix or redistribute the material. Although OER features a lot of benefits, the awareness and acceptance of this strategy is still low. So this study is aimed to empirically investigate the awareness level that can contribute to the acceptance of OER in teaching and learning. So for the literature review, the higher the Malaysia Higher Learning Institution had implemented online learning started in the late 90s and prospered until the current vision 2020 that encourages the use of computers and multimedia technology in educational institutions to transform the education system from memory-based learning into stimulative thinking and creativity through access to modern technology. The Malaysia education system has evolved by stages which lead to the current Malaysia education blueprint 2015 until 2025 that is shaping to transform the Malaysia education system by focusing on 11 shift under, under the ME Malaysian education blueprint. However, due to the pandemic COVID-19, the new approach being implemented is through online learning and blended learning. The new approach being implemented is online learning and blended learning. However, online teaching has a few limitations as the lecturers faces difficulty in preparing materials for the online method, which is a very time-consuming process. By implementation, by implementation this learning method, the university also gain more cost-effective benefits with a wide audience and no necessities of physical infrastructure. Also, online learning becomes a challenging task. It assisting the students in assess the learning material as online learning requires less supervision. Due to the current crisis affected by COVID-19, which making massive disruption to education affecting billions of learners all over the world, UNESCO issues a call to support learning and knowledge sharing through OER worldwide. It is resulted the global communities comes together now to assess to information and knowledge through OER and OEP. OER is one of the methods of academia in which stimulated innovations in education since year 1999 by sharing learning activities as well as learning resources. Moreover, OER grants cost saving for the university in acquiring free resources for teaching and learning. OER offers benefits outweigh 
risk by allows the contents of OER to be adapted, copied, adopted, used as well as reshared for free as compared to the conventional curriculum, curriculum material. One of the factors that influence acceptance of OER is the convenience of using and implementing OER. So the OER offers under one roof of full courses, modules, streaming video, course material, textbook, software, and tools, tests, and techniques to use in teaching and learning methods. So now let's move to our methodology. The study was employed a quantitative research design using a structured questionnaire and electronically distributed to gain insight on student awareness and acceptance on the role of OER in teaching and learning. The questionnaire consists of two parts, namely assessing students' awareness on OER in teaching and learning as well as assessing students' acceptance on OER in teaching and learning. Total of 225 students from UITM Negris Milan Campus Rumbau, Faculty, Business and Management will participate in the study. The partial least square method was used to code data and run statistically analysis to gain results to specify the relationship among the factors and to measure underlying of each construct. So for the measurement model, the loading average variance extracted AVE and the composite reliability were assessed. The values of loading should greater than or equal to 0 0.5. The AVE should be greater than or equal to 0 0.5 and the CR should be greater than or equal to 0 0.7. So this is our measurement model. So it shows that all the variables are reliable and valid that meet the requirement to run the structural model. So this is our structural model. H1, there is significant relationship between awareness and acceptance level to the establishment of OER in teaching learning. So table three present a path coefficient based on the structural model assessment. It shows the studies confirms that awareness significantly influences the acceptance level construct. The result proof a positive direct relationship between awareness on the importance of OER towards its acceptance level of the establishment of this platform to assist the teachings and learning process. So based on conclusion and recommendation, COVID-19 pandemic has impacted changes in teaching and learning from traditional method of face-to-face -to, -face to online or blended learning. This current education system requires further development to ensure the continuity of the teaching and learning process. However, online teaching has some limitation because lecturers have difficulty preparing material for the online method, which is a time-consuming process. Therefore, student awareness and skill is using these online platforms is crucial to ensure they can assess, assess to have to any open resources platform to gather information for the subject. So the finding illustrated from the study has significantly shows that awareness play an important role for the learners to accept all these changes and use the platform established in an open heart because this requires their passion and interest to use the open resources platform. So that's all. Thank you for your listening. Thank you again.